Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Luke Blundell, and with me, my co-host Chris Casella, and we are NRL, NRL Talk. Talk. Uh, we are back for another episode of previews and predictions. Uh, round twelve, it flew by. Only four games. Yes, yes. Round thirteen. Well, it's round 12 last week. <laughs> yes, I said round true. 12 fl- flew yeah, by, but it is round 13. That is correct. Uh, I'm exciting. Another semi four week of football. Yes, the Sharks and the Souths have the bye. Yes, but tomorrow, state versus state. Mate versus state. <laughs> I got him to say it. Uh, yeah, so tomorrow is State of Origin, which we are going to do a live stream or another yeah. video of the review of State of Origin. If you haven't checked out our previews and predictions, go and check that out. And look, make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. Definitely do it. Helps us. It makes you feel good by doing it. <laughs> makes us feel good. So it's definitely. exactly right. Look, how many did you get last week? I got three. Yeah. I think that was average around the around the board, but can yeah. we just say how stupid we were for tipping the Bulldogs? Well, I said, one, I said it was going to be very low scoring. Yeah. Uh, two, I said the Bulldogs would win. Yeah. Three, I hope the Sharks would win and it works. So. Actually, can I just change my mind? I didn't get three. I got two. You got two as well. <laughs> because we both tipped south. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just didn't want to admit it. We that just is, didn't yes, want to admit it. Yes, so we did tip the Souths, who, tur- who did not turn up at all in the uh, first half. Let's not even talk about uh, it. Look, right, let's jump it. straight into round 13, <laughs> game one Friday. It is the Melbourne Storm against Newcastle Knights. Now we've got Jay Brom is back in. Yeah. Nick was out. Uh, for the Knights, uh, Starling and Nathan Ross are back in. Huge inclusion with Ross. Huge. Yeah, Ross is probably one of our favourites here. At NRL Talk, we do like him. NRL Talk headquarters here, yes. yep. Uh, and Stockwell and Elliot are out. Yeah. Uh, very close previous meetings between these two clubs. Very, very close over the years. Uh, bookies, it's not in the night's favour. Uh, I think everyone's... T- I've, I see how much you tipped them by. Would you yeah. like to tell us what you tipped them I by? I went Storm by 16. Yeah. Uh, Newcastle have been doing better. They uh, do do well against both Newcastle and the Raiders. Yeah. So, look, if Smith doesn't play, if Cronk doesn't play, uh, is that going to be a huge issue? Like, obviously they'll still win, but do you think they'll win by a margin of sixteen if those players do not play? You got Slater and you got Munster. You got yeah. Vinavala. You got Addo Carr. Can they? Can Newcastle hold them out? Probably not. Look, I went Storm by eight. Uh, a scoreline probably 28-20. I think Newcastle will score a few tries because they're just going to want it more. But overall, like it's really hard to beat Storm up at, at Amy Stadium. Or, you know, even though yeah. Sharks did it yeah. down there, sorry. Uh, but yeah, look, Storm by eight. Knights, they, they're going okay. Yeah. But Storm, they're, they're first for a reason. So yes. Well, hopefully Newcastle win for my Sharks. That means we uh, take the... First position or equal first, I believe. Uh, but it, it was hard to talk about these games because both uh, because both of these teams had the bye last they week. They did. So there's, there's nothing really we can review from it. Both teams are, are playing good football. Uh, Newcastle are playing good football for Newcastle. And yeah. Like <laughs> yeah. Uh, the Storm are doing what they've done the last 15 years. Yeah. Alrighty, let's jump on to the second game. Uh, this was this one was a hard one to tip. Yeah, Parramatta against the Warriors. I tipped Parramatta by 10 before I go into the ins and outs because it's not at Mount Smart because apparently the Warriors can't win outside of Mount Smart, even in other places or in at, New Zealand. Or at, at Mount Smart. They still can't manage yeah. to string a few wins together. But uh, go ins and outs and we'll talk about it. So a pretty big in. You wouldn't have said that at the start of the year. Nathan Brown is in. Massive in. Will Smith is out. Yep. Uh, Carter is in and Nico Klockstad are very unlucky Ooh. to be out. He has been killing it. Oh. Try scoring machine. I should say Will Smith and Nicol Klockstad on this ridiculous extended bench that's uh, yeah. in this space. We did talk about that before, previous predictions. Obviously, it's Origin, okay? And obviously, extended benches are long, and it's going to be frustrating, especially for all of us super coach fanatics because yeah. we don't know who's in or out. Uh, but Klockstad, he's been killing it. Yeah, he's been carving up. He's been a winger that's actually been scoring for him. I should mention Jacob Leatherman is named on the extended bench and yeah. not actually named to play. Yeah. He, he might, depending how he pulls up. But yeah, Klockstad, very, very unlucky. Like, Carter hasn't been in, in any form, I think. Uh, Fusatua and Mamalo, the wingers, you could almost drop 
one of those two. Oh, definitely. The clock stand, who's like... He's, well, he's, you know, oh, let's give you a, an opportunity, a chance. Oh, you've killed it. Sorry, I'm going to have to drop you because I'm going to bring one of our other players who are out of form back. Yeah, like he's, he's very good at support player, very strong player. He did drop a, an easy one. Well, it wasn't an easy one, but he dropped one on the line. Yeah. But he's a, a potent try scorer. Well, look, Warriors won 28 to 10. Uh... Broncos were at one stage looking like they were about to come back. It was about to be the second half of Warriors again, yeah. were they like against uh, Penrith. Penrith. But uh, a really good try by Broncos. Uh, something I've missed in the game is like chips over the tops and kick across field. Ben Hunt kicks it across uh, to score a James Roberts try. And then Benji Marshall, even though the commentator is just like, he's back, he's back in form after one game, obviously, you know, set up a try and, and played a, a a crucial part in that try. Yeah, it was uh, a very good run and good off line. But it was a good game. You know, like, plenty of points, and that's what the, the thing... Like, if you're a team versus the Warriors, you can do stuff like that because Warriors can't really defend that, but the way Warriors will hit back is doing the same... Some of the same stuff of their own, so... Something that really helped the Warriors is Sean Johnson finding his running game. Yeah. He uh, tore him apart the first half. He won it for him. And his kicking game. Yeah, the kick to uh, RTS yep. was brewing under the post. And he was unlucky. He, he almost set up two other tries. Like, Ben Hunt put a tackle that stopped him and made him before the line. Like, yep. he was awesome. Very, very good. He was my player of the round. Yeah. It's really tough, though, because we turn around and this week they'll probably get pumped by 20 or 30 points. Or 10 uh, points. I tipped them by I tipped them by four, but they're so inconsistent. You tipped the Eels? I tipped the Eels by yeah. four, yeah, sorry. Uh they're so inconsistent, the Warriors. You just don't... They could turn around and win by 30. Yeah, you don't know. This is the time... time oh, sorry, this is the start of the year, origin period, where the Warriors typically just start getting on a run only to disappoint their fans at the end of the season. Like last year, Sean Johnson getting injured. Yeah. And that was... They were definitely getting in the top eight. And then he went down. Uh, so, yeah, I went Eels by four. I went Eels by ten. Alrighty. Let's jump into our first Super Saturday game. It's the Dragons against West Tigers. At ANZ Stadium. There yeah, we go. at ANZ Stadium. If that probably doesn't change anything, but just letting you know. So, this was a tough one yeah. because the Dragons coach has gone, I don't care about Super Coach. I don't care about team lists. I'm going to name everyone on the extended bench. <laughs> I'm going to name every player on our list. Yes. yes. The weird thing was, Gareth Widdop is named on the extended bench. Will he make his return? Doubt it. Not against the West Tigers. Uh, Dugan no. will probably get concussed and won't play. <laughs> yeah, in training. Yeah. Yeah. I expect uh, Frizzell to back up. He did last year, if I remember yeah. correctly. Yeah. West Tigers have a few changes. So out is uh, Felici, Alua. Uh, uh, Sue, Rankin, and Cheekham. Lola here. Yes. We called it. Mm. I called it about six weeks ago, <laughs> four to six weeks ago, just a little bit too early. But yes, Lola here is joining the West Tigers. Yes, and going into 5-8. Chris Lawrence is back, and I'm going to let you, because my pronunciation is terrible. <laughs> Still I'm a fun guy. <laughs> yes, that's better than I could have done. Uh, Whatever happened to players like Smith and uh, Johnson. <laughs> Boyd. <laughs> yes. Uh, Dragons by 14. Dragons by 14. It's unanimous. That's what they're going to win by. That's what they're going to win by. Uh, too strong. Yeah. They're going to be too strong. I hope Lola here has the best game of his life. But he's got... Uh, who's parent in the halves? What's his name? Uh, Little John. Yes. Little John in the halves. Uh, still inexperienced halves. Uh, coming into a new team. Into a new structure. Okay. This is why they're going to lose. Okay. The forward pack of West Tigers against the forward pack of the Dragons. <laughs> meters are going to be made by the Dragons. West Tigers are going to struggle to get those meters. Unless yep. Nof Lumu, uh, Teddy backs up, uh, sorely to a lesser degree, make the meters for him. Yeah. Uh, Paul Vaughan, DeBellin, Packer are just going to rip through them. Yeah, and I think DeBellin will definitely come out, especially if New South Wales lose on Wednesday. I think uh, Jack DeBellin will come out and he will just have a blinder because he wants in that team. Well, Vaughn... Uh, and, and Vaughn, uh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, and Vaughn. Like, if there's an injury in the, this game, then there's a big chance that one of those two... Oh, after John McLean. One of those two will make it. Yes. <laughs> Jordan McLean. We won't go there, though. It's Jordan McLean, who, spoiler alert, uh, is, I'm pretty sure, on the bench. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, so I tipped Dragons by 14. Look, both of these teams did not play uh, during the Origin buy period, so it's hard to talk about them uh, this week. But, yeah, all you really have to say is forward pack. I rate the Tigers' back line. Oh, I really yeah, do. They're really good. I really do. But when you come to a forward pack, uh, that's how you make majority of your metres and, and, you know, defence. How many no tries do you think Sandy's is going to get this week? Uh, so what? The week prior, he three. got three. Yep. Uh, and and a sin binning. Yes, yes. And a sin binning. Great for my super. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to go two. He'll cross the line for two. Two. Yeah. yeah. Well, knock ons. Knock ons. <laughs> I really hope so. Because him and Nofo have been their best, uh, but they can't do it by themselves. No, and well, they're trying. Mm. They're trying. But look, let's jump on to the next game. Uh, this is going to break my heart. This is the 5:30 Saturday game. Yes, it's the Sydney Roosters against the Brisbane Broncos. Now, the Origin players are back in. Uh, so, players like Ferguson, Cordner, Napa, Pierce, Guerra back in for the Roosters. They haven't named any outs because the bench is... Uh, they've got a number 26 on there, so they named a really big bench. Uh, same thing for Brisbane. Uh, all Origin players are back. Yeah. And now, this is assuming that no one gets injured. Yeah. So, it's a little bit up in the air. Which, to be fair... More Broncos players are in origin, so probably more chance to be injured. Yeah, with the amount of traffic that Anthony Milford's going to get, I'm really hoping he stays fine and not injured. Yeah. Uh, so you got uh, McCulloch's back in there. Yeah. Yeah. Huge inclusion, especially for my super coach. Massive yes. inclusion. Yeah, hang on to him. So it's only George Fay and uh, Travis Odell that's out, really. Yep. Everyone else is just pretty much uh, in or on the extended bench, and we're waiting for Origin. Yes. In saying that, I picked the Brisbane by two points. Jeez, uh, it's a tough one. Look, Roosters against the Raiders, 24-16. Should have been, uh, like, what, what was it, 18-16. Like, yeah. they scored with, like, a couple of seconds to go. Literally because there's desperate passing. Yeah, look. I'm going to be upset about this game because I have a... I tip Roosters by two. I tip Roosters by two. I feel like Broncos uh, will probably win. And oh, man. I know. But we took it to the Raiders, minus our origin stars. If we get all them back and we have a good origin, Mitchell Pierce will want to prove himself again. Then we have the likes of like Blake Ferguson, Aiden Guerra, who needs to step up and do something. Daniel Tupo wants in that origin team as well. Uh, Latrell Mitchell's in form, Michael Gordon's in form, except he missed that goal that pretty much lost us the game. <laughs> not holding against you. Uh, yeah, not holding against you, Michael. Yeah. But yeah, look, uh, the, the good notes from the Raiders game was the simple fact that Roosters took it to them and Raiders should have easily won. We've won down there once in a decade. Uh, the bad note is Rapana scored a double, and the double was terrible defence. Yeah, he just palmed him off like terrible. he was playing in the under fives, and he was a big star. There was literally number. like two or three defenders there. You have to take down these plays. You have to attack the legs. Yeah, especially uh, Rapana, such a strong upper body, but he does have really strong hips as well. In saying that, though, yeah, look, that was the negative, and you can't go, especially the post origin period you can't verse these strong teams with and like you can't even hold out when there's like three on one so that was a huge negative from it i thought we could have won that game but it was to be expected effort was there the first half uh it was kind of typical of the raiders how they couldn't put that 80 minutes together yeah uh and then second half like i thought the wrist was going to win i sent you a text yeah uh but it's just unfortunate that's it, but yeah, uh, and again, Bronco, Broncos obviously losing to the Warriors. You can't hold that against them. No. You know, they had Ben Hunt, uh, they had Benji Marshall. They, yeah, they were missing. A lot of people were saying that Warriors couldn't take it to them, but they were missing so many plays, and it's it's hard. Like obviously, it's a run for the for the young for the young guys. Except James yeah. Roberts scored their their two and only tries. But I thought uh, Asa did an awesome job on Roberts. He did. Yeah, he was close to being my player of the round. Just that. Just that defence, he's just coming out of nowhere. And I was going to say that Blake Ashford from years ago, but I don't think I've ever seen him in form. So Yeah, we do. There's a couple of players in the, the comp that get unfair or fair, like negativity towards him as journeyman and things like that. But yeah. Ashford, yeah, he's, 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 he played well. He did. Played he played well. very well. All right, let's jump on to our next game. Uh, can we smell an upset? It is the Cowboys against the Titans. Now, both teams are unchanged. Yeah, except... Ah, yeah, so on the extended bench, there is Caelan Ponger. Yeah. And Jonathan Thurston. Yeah. Don't think Thurston will play. 
all males saying he's not playing. Uh, I texted uh, JT, my boy, today. I didn't. I'm totally lying. Uh, but if I did, I would assume he would text me back uh, saying that he would not play. Yeah. Oh, it's so tough because will he... Yeah, will he play pro... It'd be... I don't think this is going to be like an easy game for him. No, if, look, no, not at all. I don't think he will play, no. But should he play? Probably because Cowboy, even though Cowboys have been going okay... Uh, without him, I think they need him back. Oh, they definitely do. And let's like play a half, sort of like what I think the Storm are going to do. Play Cameron Smith, Cooper Cronk for a half, get up by 48 nil, and then... You think if it. he played on Sunday, he could play three days earlier. So that's kind of... Origin's different intensity, though, because no, you know... No, it isn't. Because you know no, that I'm players are going to go out in State of Origin and it's hammer. Targeting. Yeah, and hammer. Like, well, you every don't player. think the Titans forwards are going to go, oh, JT's playing with a crook shoulder. What forwards? <laughs> Ryan James. Traded him out of super coach. Okay. Uh, yeah, look, it, it'd be silly for him to play, but in saying that, if they want to be serious uh, for a top four finish, I think that even though he doesn't play Origin, there was rumours he was coming back this week, obviously named the extended bench, but that's why this year you can't go by the extended bench. You just no, can't. It's just a lottery. I don't think he's going to play. You think he's a sniff. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah. Uh, both of these teams didn't play last week again, so we can't talk too much about it, but I tip North Queensland by four. I tip North Queensland by four. <sighs> Twinnies. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, on to the next game. It is Manly up against the Raiders. Uh, Apologise, we have a technical <laughs> difficulty with uh, Luke here with what, the giggles. What a uh, what a crazy game because Manly don't win at Lotto Land. No, they don't. They certainly don't. But Raiders hardly win at all. <laughs> they don't anymore, do they? Uh, Manly unchanged. Yeah. Uh, the Raiders in is Josh Papali. Yeah. Uh, Luke Huge Bates. inclusion. Yeah. He's Massive. Been the, the, one of their best players. Massive. He's definitely been the best forward. The only thing Raiders need is for BJ to step up because then Rapana will step up, even though Rapana scored a double. BJ needs to step up. He's gone like this, 2016 to literally this in 2017. Yeah, he's not getting as involved. And we say like his teams are kicking it out and everything, but Rapana's still managing to score. How did Rapana score like 120 points in Supercoach and score two tries and Leilua did nothing? 33. Well, he only got a last touch and not a try assist for him. Tries, but that's neither here nor there because Luke Bateman is out for a couple of weeks with an injury. Uh, I went Manly by 10. I went Manly originally by four until I realised it was the Raiders. Uh, wow. I just had to double look and went by 14. Wow. Yeah, I just think, like, obviously no Tom Trevojevic, uh, which is a huge loss, but I think... Yeah, it's Raiders. You can't. It's like it's Raiders are like the Warriors now. They are like the Warriors. You, they could come out and win by thirty. Uh, but it is at Lotto Land. I've done that in a while though, have they? I know. Look, yeah. I think at Lotto Land, I think Manly would try and uh, have try and recoup their home ground advantage to a place where teams fear to play. Uh, but I think it's going to be a high scoring game, especially in the Sunday afternoon. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go Manly by fourteen. Manly by 10. But, look, obviously Raiders, again, as we said in the, the Roosters uh, preview and prediction game, uh, they should have won by more. They should have killed them. They sh- honestly should have. Yeah, after the f- they should have continued the first half. should have been 32-6 to six against an understrength Roosters side. Yeah. Full-strength Roosters side would have won. Easy. Yeah. Would have won easy. Uh, but I think we're all a little bit disappointed uh, with what the Raiders are doing. Definitely. Yeah, because they were such an exciting team last year. And we want them to be that, you know, up there with the Sharks and the Storm fighting it out. And they're just not there yet whether they're going to build over this origin period. They're only missing Kapali. Well, look, there's six wins and six losses. That's not great for a warrior, uh, for a Raiders side. It's great for a Warriors side. <laughs> it's not great for a Raiders side. Yeah. Uh, they've got the best attack in the comp. Uh, Fox, uh, my brother sent me a text um, asking what I thought about the Fox Sports attacking the Raiders plotting defense, uh, attack. Yep. Uh, they do have the best attack in the comp. Are you going stats or are you talking... Uh, For four. Yeah. So they got the, they've scored the most points. Uh, they, I just think the reason why they're being attacked uh, is because they had so much promise. They had so much momentum from last year and at the start of this year. And for the wheels, are just they're, they're coming off a little bit. You know, it's really because, and I'll, I'll be honest, 
it's BJ and Leilu, uh, BJ and Rapana on that wing that set the expectation. So last yeah. year they killed it. All the Raiders, uh, you know, obviously you have Jared Croker on the opposite side, which is like huge experience. So if they can't go to them, they'll go to Croker. The halves aren't performing. Papali, they have such a strong forward pack. Got rid of Paul Vaughan, though. Like, terrible loss by the Raiders. Uh, but BJ and Rapana, huge success last year. Like, if they can do that last year, what are they going to do this year? They started the year off reasonably well. Mm-hmm. And then since then, nothing. So they're like, well, you know, what happened? Where'd they go? Yeah. And they got a young kid named Kotrick, who's brilliant on the wing. One of the rookies of the year. So... They've got a big, burly forward pack. Um, they seem to have a team that could do it, but, you know, the structures just don't seem You to. could say that about, like I said, the Warriors. You could say it about generally like the Tigers. You, you, can, about the West Tigers. you can say <laughs> it about the Titans. You can say it about the Rabbitohs. Don't even get us started on the Rabbitohs. Oh, well. We're which we can't because they don't play this week. You're lucky. The Ra- <laughs> you are very lucky. But the Rabbitohs have, like, I think one of the best teams in the competition as individuals, yeah, but not as a team. Let's give the ball to Cody Walker and point to the line like the Tigers do. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, let's jump on to the very last game. It is the Canterbury Bulldogs up against the Penrith Panthers. Now, I'm going to... This is the toughest game to pick. The toughest game to pick. So all the Origin stars are back in. Yeah. Uh, not tonight. that they were missing a lot of Origin <laughs> stars, but yes, they Brent, are back in. Brett Morris, Josh Jackson, David Clemmer. Yeah. No one's name out yet. Everyone's chucked on extended bench. Yeah. Penrith, Bryce Cartwright, Peter out. Wallace, Peter Hiku, uh, Akwala Lula. <laughs> How do you pronounce that? Uh, Akawal. <laughs> I'm struggling here. Um... Anyway, that dude's out. <laughs> uh, in, Dylan Edwards goes to fullback. Yeah. Moylan has moved to 5'8". Something I know this next person you rate heavily. Oh, yeah, big time. One of my uh, stalemate, like, one of the guys I picked first in Supercoach. One of your idols walks around, struts around, got, uh, saying you he reminds you of himself. Yeah, got quads like a, an elephant. He's... <laughs> Runs through everyone. Josh Mansour is back, everybody. Yay. Probably get injured, but he's back. I hope not. Uh, Mitch Rain feels yeah. uh, into hooker. And Isaiah Yo, who had a cracker uh, last time he was out, uh, is back in the team. So, you know, they lose a couple of big names there, especially that last one I couldn't pronounce. Yeah. But they're four pretty big ends. Mitch Rain, we've spoken about him before. Yeah. Uh, obviously requested too much money, apparently, at uh, the Dragon, so they're just like, bye. How not to... Uh, yes, negotiate your out. contract. Uh, and obviously now getting uh, a chance to run on the paddock because Peter Wallace is out. I wonder if Mitch Rain will move clubs again because he ain't starting if uh, Wallace is in there, unless he's going to play like a 10-minute role at the end of the game, sort of like a lot of, like, uh, you yeah. think Farrah and Damien Cook? Uh, but uh, I don't. I don't think Rain's going to get much of much a run. There, who who does he go to though? Who needs a, a hooker? West Tigers. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> there we go. We've picked your next club, Mitch or Rain. Newcastle. Or we, Newcastle. We turned down offers to Newcastle. Uh, I tip Panthers by four. I tip Panthers by six. Uh, reasons for Bulldogs can't score over twenty points. And Bulldogs can't win games, really. Yes. Let's be honest. Uh, Penrith, Bulldogs have a great defence. Penrith have uh, players in their team that can score. Now, I reckon if they score a couple of quick tries, that's going to be too much for Penrith. Could, this could be a terrible game. This could be an absolute terrible nightmare of a game that everyone's going to tune into Channel 9 and be disappointed. Yeah. Or this could be like... Josh Mansour show. Can I, can I be honest? I think it's going to be... The only reason I went Panthers by four is because I'm nervous. <laughs> because of the Bulldogs. Because I tip Bulldogs to beat the Sharks. And all signs pointed to Sharks to win. They're at home, even though they're missing a couple of Origin players. They're at home. They're in form. They're coming second on the ladder. Uh, you, you know, they're missing the two players who give away the most penalties and, yeah. and one of the players who has the most missed tackles in the game. And they've got uh, Paul Gallon, who's probably the, one of the most informed players in the competition. Yeah. Uh, I watched, partially watched moments of this game and then I went and re-watched the highlights and the Bulldogs didn't do anything for me. They were just lethargic, uh, lazy. They should have piled on more points. So very unlucky uh, stand-up performance by Paul Gallen to, to lead. He was a leader in that game. He led that team to victory. Uh, 
If Bulldogs can't win against the Sharks team who are missing vital players, uh, they're not going to beat a Panthers team hungry. Yeah. Because if you think about it, who's more hungry at the moment, Bulldogs or Panthers? Panthers are willing to score points. Panthers are hungry for 20 minutes a game, and yeah. I think that's going to be enough to win this one. Maybe. Well, you look at how, sh- how hungry Sharks were. Sharks were hungry for about 30 seconds from that uh, run from like the 10 meter line to the try line. Yeah, Paul Gallon to get out of the in goal. Yep. And then uh, I think it was Townsend to Beal to score a 70 meter try. So that right there was the only uh, time that I believe Sharks were hungry from what I saw. But look, uh, it could go either way. Uh, bookies are looking at going either way as well. I don't care that it's at ANZ Stadium. Pretty equal crowd, but I'm going Panthers by four. And I went Panthers by six. Alrighty, that wraps up this week's episode of Previews and Predictions. Please let us know in the comment section below who you are tipping this week. And please get a pronunciation for that name. Uh, if you know who I was talking about and what name I butchered, uh, please pronounce it in the comments. You know what I think it is? Akuola. Akuola? Yeah. Because I had him in my super coach team Same last and year. Same guy. Yeah. <laughs> Same and fun guy. I'm Luke Blundell. I'm Chris Casella. Bye. Bye.